fine words there from Nina Clark and English born and bred, married to the New Zealand captain John Paul Clark and she's the world's leading ladies polo player on a three goal handicap so she knows plenty about this game as New Zealand trailing by five goals to two as we get into the second half of this match New Zealand will lay bell to keep their names on the New Zealand Rose Bowl trophy for 2010 there were some stern words from their coach Cody Forsyth at the break so we'll see what can happen develop over the three chuckers left in this match there's Sam Hopkinson with the ball now deep down in the English half just taps it back brings it up to his captain John Paul Clark and puts one in Sam Hopkinson's there James Byam comes in for the clearing shot he crossed straight in front of Hopkinson there though penalty awarded to New Zealand right on the spot an easy That's one for goes. Craig Wilson just slips it through that pulls one back five goes. goals to three in favor of England Tommy. but just the start they Tommy. wanted New Zealand early stages of chucker number four back at halfway umpire Robert Watson rolls the ball in they've changed ends now deep shot down into the English half going back Luke Tomlinson near side back and cuts it out. JP Clarkin just shuts his pony down there, drags it forward, keeping control. Look at Malcolm Borick right on him there, hustling and bustling. He knocks it back to Sam Hopkinson. Look at this, a goal shot. Oh, he's missed it. Out to the left hand side. He can't believe it. So a lucky let off again for England. They survived that one. Brings it out off his back line. Nice, powerful near side backhand from Tommy Wilson, but no one home in a black shirt. Cleared by James Byme. Brings it out towards the boards. Right with him is JP Clarkin. Hard riding there. Takes him off the line. Gets the ball. Clarkin, what can he do with it? Oh, it's knocked out of play by Mark Tomlinson from the line out. Right there, Malcolm Borrett. Tommy Wilson vying for the ball. Hard riding between the ponies. Now he scoots one parallel to the boards. There's Borick racing towards it as Byme, but all over it. There's JP Clark and taps a nice ball back and he finds Hopkinson. Oh, a mighty drive, 70 metres long. It bounces down towards the English goalmouth. Can he do something with it here? Hopkinson checks his pony up, brings it around, keeps control of the ball. Hopkinson under his pony's neck. Look at that, slots it through. Magical goal from the New Zealand number four. Brilliant stuff as we watch the Lexus replay. Look at this tidy shot. Great teamwork here. Sets up Hopkinson. Beautiful drive and against the runner play. Gets out on his own Hopkinson. Has a quick look there to see who's coming at him. Takes his time here. Hits the anchors. Turns his pony on a right angle. And lines up the goal shot. Straight under the pony's neck and straight down the centre. Beautiful stuff. The flags go up. So back to halfway they come. 5-4, only one splits them now. England still in front from the line out. They've changed ends, remember. Picking it up, JP Clarkin sends a firing shot down to centre field in front of the English goal mouth. Oh, Tomlinson comes off his pony. They won't stop for that. He's still on his feet. Now backhand from Bymore, stopped there by Tommy Wilson. Tommy Wilson going to the goal mouth. Can he nail this one home for New Zealand? Yes, there's the equaliser. Oh, brilliant stuff. Look at this, backhand on the Lexus replay. And it met perfectly there by Tommy Wilson. And he had a lot of work to do still. Concentration plus here. As he runs to goal, keeps his eye on that ball, doesn't panic. Byam is too late and it's through and he's happy about it as well. Tommy Wilson, fantastic stuff. It's all locked up at five apiece. Just the chucker they wanted, New Zealand. Chucker number four coming away from the line out. Sam Hopkinson, what can he do with it? Just drags it forward in front of his pony. Taking it down towards the English goal mouth. Hopkinson right there. Mark Tomlinson with him. Tommy Wilson slips through the traffic. Brings it right in towards the goal mouth. Another goal shot from Hopkinson. Oh, it just didn't get through. Back there by Tommy Wilson it was. Oh, somehow Malcolm Borick saves the day for England. Drags it out and he puts his pony into fifth gear. Flicks it over the halfway this time. Borick still going right with him. Wilson, can he pick him up? Borick all out on his own, oh, just runs over the ball, nice tidy backhand there from Wilson but picked up by James Byam, James Byam taps it in towards the centre, always gone over the top of it Byam, picked up by Hopkinson, 
Goes a short way, tries to f- open his shoulders up there, find his number one, or oh, he does Craig Wilson, but the whistle sounds across the line there. Craig Wilson in front of Malcolm Borrick, so a penalty being awarded to England. 80 metres from goal, Luke Tomlinson. In he comes. Bangs this one, a mighty drive right in front of the New Zealand goal mouth. Borrick's there, he nails one home for England, puts them back in front, 6-5. Oh, magical goal here. Just see Luke Tomlinson pick up a big drive. Bime somehow taps it there, keeps it in the field of play, and Bar, quick as a flash, latches onto it and puts it between the uprights. Back at halfway, they change ends. Ball's rolled in. Watson puts the ball in there. Backhand from the line out from JP Clark and Sam Hopkinson. Anticipates the pass. That's what this game's all about. Anticipation, making sure you're where the next play is going to be. Races it through. Does Mark Tomlinson backs it back? Luke Tomlinson's there. What can he do with it? Bangs one down and he finds his number three, Malcolm Bark, in towards the centre. Just hasn't got the legs to reach. James Byme. Oh, the backhand's been missed. Danger here for New Zealand. Going goal with Bark. Can he finish this one off for England? Oh, he's pulled it. Out to the right-hand side. Bad luck for England. Malcolm Borrick, he's not pleased with himself at all. You can see the frustration. And Chaka 4 comes to an end. 6-5 to England. Now let's hear from some of the players about why they love this game so much. You know, you're, you're hooning around on horses which are going sort of, I don't know, 40 kilometres an hour and you're trying to hit a little white ball. It's, uh, it's exhilarating and there's uh, no, no bigger adrenaline rush for me. I think that combining the horse skills and, and the, ball, the ball skills, you know, I mean, you've got the riding, which, which I'm fanatical about. Um, you know, the horse is a serious athlete and being able to, to wagon and, and manoeuvre, that, that animal is, is very satisfying uh, and very thrilling. And then hitting a ball at full speed and, and the, the team aspect of it, you know, it's a team game.